it is always good to catch up with Michael Liner. CAFE did exactly that this week. The two of them got together at the very cosy Stokes and Moncrief just down the road from Twickenham to talk about Noddy's new book. Well, between Michael Liner and I, we played 84 tests and scored 911 test match points. Noddy, I think you got the bulk of them. My career saw zero points, but great to catch up with you. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the book that's now been released. Oh yeah, Blindsided it's called, and um, it's, a, it's more than just a rugby book, I guess. It's, it's quite a bit about the stroke I suffered back in 2012, how that came about, what happened, and uh, the recovery from that. Um, but there is a little bit of rugby in it, given that it's quite a large part of our lives, you know. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot of range of things in there that uh, are more than just a rugby book, given that I haven't played rugby since 1998. So, uh, but it's mainly around the stroke and recovering from that. As a rugby player, quite often we have moments in our lives where we think we're indestructible, um, something like that. It's a life-changing event, obviously, yeah. for you, and that great challenge, and I you know, note with interest, getting the driver's licence back was a big yes. part of your recovery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit dangerous still, yeah. Yeah, but a huge, um, huge challenge. Um, what have you made so far of the Rugby World Cup here? I know you've been based over here now for a long period of time. What have you made of the tournament? I think it's been fantastic. I really do. You know, the, the weather's played its part as well. We've had some lovely weather and uh, the crowds at all the grounds. All the grounds have been full. The atmosphere's been fantastic. The last three weekends at Twickenham um, have been unbelievable atmospheres. Normally Twickenham's quite, you know, quite staid, a little bit corporate, that sort of thing, quiet. That's, but the last three weeks has been amazing. Michael, you've obviously won a World Cup and you've been bundled out of a World Cup as, as everyone has from time to time. Um, the Wallabies prospects now, do you think they have what it takes to keep going? Yeah, I think so. They're, um, you know, we had a, we had a good uh, rugby championship. You know, beating New Zealand was a big thing and uh, but we could have quite easily um, lost to South Africa in the opening game. And, uh, but I think Michael Check has done a wonderful job. You know, when you look back 10 months ago, Australian rugby wasn't in great shape. And what he's done to turn it around, mind you, while coaching a super rugby team in the Waratahs, um, to manage all that and to get to the point where they had a performance like they put on last Saturday. It was a wonderful effort, and from the team as well. Indeed, Michael, thanks very much for spending some time here at uh, this great little pub, and uh, we look forward to a little bit more rugby and best of luck with the book. Thanks, Rod, thanks very much. Yeah, Kate there with Michael Liner. His recovery, you, you were there, I think, a couple of days after the stroke. The recovery has been incredible. Yeah, it's been a big challenge for Michael and his family. Like, when he went back, it happened. the stroke happened in Brisbane, mm. so, and his wife and children were over here in London. And so, uh, a great challenge for Michael to get back to that. And uh, it's a wonderful book, too. So, uh, it's, it's in, out in Australia as well.